Hey there everybody, it's Mike Delisio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Meeples and Monsters coming to you from publisher AEG and designer Ole Steinus, who I believe is the designer of uh, uh, Champions of Midgard, if I am correct. Number one, build your bag. Number two, improve your units. Number three, defeat monsters attacking the city. A dark shadow has fallen upon the realm of Rowan. The evil forces of Mordraw pulled to the power of Sauron, together with unfathomable monstrosities from the realm of people. Wow, that's a lot going on there. Have found ways to enter your world and are now invading everywhere. The king's army, weakened by years of war, is but a thin veneer of its former self. All right, two to four players, 45 to 60 minutes. Let's take a look inside the box. This says, Kickstarter edition in a prominent sticker there in the top so keep that in mind that what you see here may not be what you see if you come across this game uh, at retail here's our rule book let's take a quick gander through that and see if we can get an idea uh, of what's happening so 45 to 60 minutes so that's a relatively quick game and uh, let's take a gander we see our components here we see some meeples and markers and bags some cards are going to be involved here is our setup, all right. And it says there's also a Four Towers mini expansion, which might be in this one. So here's our turn phase. Starting with the, turn, with the first player, you go in clockwise order. You carry out the following phases in order. Number one, the development phase, where you build new locations in the city and level up. Number two, the main phase, where you activate locations and fight monsters. And then finally, the draw phase. And it goes into each of these examples in more detail all right they talk about combat with monsters it sounds like that's a big part of this game and then the ending of the game is after the third the final uh dark council arrives card is drawn time's running out once the player with the first player marker starts their next turn after the third card is drawn each player will have just two turns before the game ends all right they've got an faq which is something that i'm increasingly seeing in uh, rule books and I am appreciative of that. I think that's a great idea. Here we see some clarifications and effects also. All right. So this again is a Kickstarter edition. I will not open this. This is a expansion, four towers, and apparently you can also play this solo as well. So uh, that's exciting for players like myself who tend to like solo games. But right now I'm just going to focus on the main game because uh, that's what I think most people will have access to. Keeping in mind that the components and things you see here may not be the same depending on the version. So this version has some very nice felt um, stitched draw bags in the different player colors. Okay, that's very, very nice. And they're large. I'm assuming you're going to be placing a number of different meeples and such in those bags. And it looks like you will have no problem getting your hand in there, rooting around, and drawing out what you want or need to. We've got some boards here. Looks like we've got a place, this looks to be probably a score tracker and a place for a card market. That's at least what uh, it looks like. Here we've got our tavern lodgings, the Lumber Inn. Merrick, Merrick. I just made up, a, I made up a class. We've got the mage and the cleric. You put them together and you get a Merrick apparently. Mage, cleric, knight, warrior, and peasant. All right. Oh, I see. These are these are the player boards. So everyone's got their own. The Sir Douglas Fir, the Maple and Mustards, and the Elderflower. All right. We've got some cardboard tokens here, including what looks to be a large first player marker. So the cardboard quality, judging by this, is uh, good. Looks like... Uh, what you would expect from a modern hobby board game. Let's take a look at our central board here. What I'm assuming is our central board. All right, colorful, clear, looks to be easy to read. We've got a number of different tiles, some of which that have already popped through. So you can, again, you can see these are good, thick quality cardboard. I don't think there'll be any complaints about that. There's a whole bunch of screen printed meeples, and I'm a fan of those, typically. So we'll look at those in a moment. 
So let's take a look at some cards. Get an idea for the art direction and the iconography, that kind of fun stuff. All right, so here are some card backs just to kind of give you an idea. And here's our mage, level two mage. The card quality seems good. They're nice snap to them. They, they have like a, fin a finish on them. Um, not sure if it's a linen. I don't think it's a linen finish. It feels a little bit more uh, kind of glossy than that. But uh, again, they seem to be fine quality. And you can get a look at that art and see if it's an art style that, that is appealing to you. I think it's fine. I'm... I'm yeah, I think this art is okay. It's, 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 to me, not fantastic, but it's also fine. It's not bad. All right, we have another deck, but it looks to be very similar to the deck we just looked at. So um, let's just move on to the screen-printed wooden pieces, shall we? So we've got the different types of workers, but you can see they are screen-printed on one side. All right. I think from a usability standpoint, it's not going to matter because I think the color is probably what really matters here. But if you really like to see your screen printing, maybe you'd want to all face those that direction. But there's a lot of them here. And also here's a cool piece. I like this dragon. Ooh. But just to give you an idea, Couple more here I'll show off. Oh, meeple down, meeple down. All right, we've got a large bag of these workers here. These maybe are the most, perhaps these are the most common workers, just because there's more of them. That's an assumption, of course. And we've got just plain gray meeples. And finally, the yellow workers, if they are indeed workers. All right, well, a very kind of colorful, bright game. Uh, looks like it's going to have a potentially wide appeal. Some nice looking components. Again, reminder that this is a Kickstarter edition of the game, so uh, you may not see all of these exact components depending on which version of meeples and monsters that you have. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing!